Yesterday there was sun and there was rain Beauty in the mundane oh. And as the light startled our eyes We let go of disguise oh. And now there's something in the air And a sparkly shimmer Beautiful people, you. My name's Paul. Welcome to the channel. And if you like this ugly mug and you want to see more, what yeah, I get up to in this thing on a weekly basis. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, notification bell, and all that good stuff. Let's get this week started, shall we? Well, it's Wednesday morning. Uh, what time are we on? Nine twenty of the a.m. Uh, Started at five o'clock on Monday morning. I've been where did I go Monday? I went empty up to Warrington from our yard at Chesterfield. I went up to AM Commercials. I met a young man by the name of Richard Pritchard, who works there. Um, he's uh, he's a subscriber to the channel. I believe he subscribes to a couple of uh, the other trucking trucking vloggers. One of them being Scott Andrews, who uh, I met the other week. I don't know Scott went into AM a couple of weeks or a few weeks ago now. Well, video came out a few weeks ago. Could have been a couple of months ago, but he went in there to swap a trailer. Let me turn that one down a little bit more. There we go, might be a little bit better for you. Um, so yeah, Adam, thanks for your help on Monday, mate. If you're watching this, I do appreciate the help. And uh, he took some uh, good photos and um, a video, a short video of us pulling away, which you may have noticed in uh, the new intro, which I'm hoping I've had time to do. But if it's the old in intro, then I haven't had time to do it, but there is a new intro coming. We shall see, shall we? I always set myself up, don't I? So anyway, myself and uh, and uh, one of the lads, Dave, went in there on a Monday morning and loaded three, um, what were they, R440s? The uh, old gen Scania 63 plates, uh, decommissioned Scanias. They're going. They went down to uh, Newark. No, they didn't. They went down to a place near Norfolk. Um, and apparently, they uh, they strip them, take the cabs off the chassis, etc., etc., and they, uh, they stuff them in containers, and they get shipped to Malaysia, and they get rebuilt and reused over in Malaysia. They strip them down, put them in a container, so they can get them in there. So, so there were six went, and I do believe there's more to go. But uh, so Dave and myself got down there Monday afternoon, or well, late Monday afternoon, got rid of them. Dave ended up going down to Harwich Docks. I ended up coming back up to Auto Trail at Grimsby, just for a change. Eh? Don't do for me learning the Auto Trail, is it? Um, I got to um, a farm shop type restaurant place thing just outside Boston. Saturday night, you can park. Ten quid to park. Wait, ten quid. I don't know, something like that, I can't remember. Um, so I parked there for night, nice and quiet. Pulled out of there at uh, 4.30 yesterday morning. Yeah, half four yesterday morning. Up to Water Trail. Loaded two. I ended up going up to Newcastle. To a dealership near Newcastle. For one of them in there. And then back up to Cairn Ryan, where we went last week. Another ride up to Cairn Ryan yesterday. I got up there last night, got that tipped, run back out. Uh, I got about half an hour down the road, down the uh, 75, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. A75. Um, and then stuck it in a lay-by. One of these nice, you know, the right deep lay-bys that uh, get you well off the road. Grass island between you and the road, so it's not too bad. Nice and quiet. And uh, up at three o'clock this morning. Um, the job I had, 
um, had me going into Newark, sorry, into Auto Trail, loading to one for Newark, and then down to Axbridge, which is uh, Bristol Way. Now, I don't have a problem with doing that, usually, but after that, he had me going into Portsmouth. Now, what's wrong with that, you might add? Well, I can't work in Friday, I've got Friday off. I've got Friday and Monday off, so I'm having a long weekend. Uh, we're having a, a new sofa delivered on Friday at home and the wife's working so it's just easier for me to take time off um, I don't lose much money where she loses because she's only part time she, she's not really entitled to any holiday pay so she loses the money if she has time off plus I've got holidays to burn so I'll, I'll use a couple up so I wouldn't have had time to do the job that I want me to do into Portsmouth um, after Axbridge so that's changed now I'm uh, still going to Grimsby I'm currently on the uh, M180 yeah I am <laughs> can't remember if I come off the 18 yet well I have long time ago uh, I think Immingham's that way Scunthorpe's that way I'm just passing Scunthorpe on the M180 um, and I'm loading two out of here going up to Newcastle so I'm going back to the same place I went yesterday morning uh, to deliver two um, some may ask why didn't I deliver them yesterday well they won't fit um, I can only ever fit two motorhomes um, it's possible we can get three caravan, uh, camper vans uh, depending on the camper van itself but it's possible to get three on but you can only ever get two on if you've got a motorhome and a camper van if that makes sense there's just no way of getting a third vehicle on when you've got a single motorhome so that's what we're up to today um, I don't think there's going to be a great deal of content for you I'll do my best, I'll see what I can do I'll try and show you the barrel hitch I keep banging on about see if I can show you that today and I'll take you into Newcastle with me to the dealership there it's not in Newcastle, it's just off I can't remember what junction it is but it's Metro Centre and turn left so I'm driving away from Newcastle it's not too bad Not too bad at all. So I had a couple of comments. Oh, I tell you what, I, I, I've had a, a couple of people asking for shout outs. Um, I keep forgetting. <laughs> I keep forgetting to do them. So hopefully, my plan now is to load the auto trail. So let's see what times we've got. Yeah, I could probably get away with doing it. Yeah, I'm going to load the auto trail and then I'm going to take a 45 minute break. In that 45 minute break, I'll go through my messages and I will make a list. There's only, I think there's three. I think there's three names, I can't remember. I'll go through the comments and um, pick up any shout outs and I'll uh, do that later on in this vlog. I keep saying it every week, I'm going to try and keep it short. I said it last week, it was still over an hour long. <laughs> so, some of the comments I had about last week's vlog was I look miserable um, somebody messaged me and said cheer up mate, you look miserable well, it was a bad week for me last week um, on Friday last week it, was it Friday? the 17th so we're now 22nd, 21st, 20th 19th. yeah, Friday was uh, the anniversary of my mum's passing um, three year anniversary so I wasn't in a very good mood last week, it was really great on my mind, it was playing on my mind, so so I apologise if I wasn't my happy smiley face. But business as usual today, I'll take the mick out myself as much as anybody else can do. And like I say, I'll get as much content as I can with not a lot of work available to me, if that makes sense. So I'll leave you to it, and I'll catch up with you in a bit. Take care guys, bye for now. Hi guys, um, well I'm at the, uh, where am I, I'm in a lay by at the side of the um, uh, um, A180, it's obviously not the M180 because they don't have it, Ooh, pardon me, they don't have lay bys does it, so A180, uh, I've loaded up to Auto Trail and I've got a camper van and a motorhome, and they're both going to a dealership up at Newark as I said, uh, Newcastle as I said earlier, well I've been through 
been through Facebook wrong, I've been through YouTube comments, etc, etc, and I've come up with a, a bit of a list, not that many, and there's a couple that I've added, because I just want to say hello to them. Um, so we start with Gary Walker, Gary Walker posts, or comments every single video, um, quite a prolific commenter, commenter, yeah, makes sense that, doesn't it? Um, so Gary, I really appreciate you uh, taking the time to, to comment, is that low enough? Um, so yeah Gary appreciate that uh, appreciate the support the continued support he's been with me for quite some while quite some time as has uh, Speedy Stevenson um, I do see your messages on Facebook on my social media um, I have social media on Facebook and Instagram if you want to go check them out there will be links in the description below um, so yeah, Speedy Stevenson, I can't find his first name, I think it was Stephen. Um, uh, yeah, so thank you, Speedy. I appreciate your comments and appreciate your um, messages each week as well, uh, messages of support and, and the likes. Um, next one is, these have not asked for a shout out, but again, the prolific um, comments every week, and it's Casey James. Um, I'm assuming by the name Casey, that's a female, it's spelt with an I, I don't know, could be a male, I don't know, either or. Um, they always comment saying that they watch it with the dad, they watch my vlogs with the dad and I really enjoy them, so I really appreciate you taking the time guys, so thank you for that. Um, and then, the last shout out is for a guy called JP. Um, JP, for those that don't know, well, you might not know, he's he purchased um, a truck called the Goonies. It's a, a DAF XF105 space cab. I don't think it's a super space. And it's airbrushed in uh, the Goonies. Uh, if you don't know the Goonies, it's a film from the 80s. Um, there was a reason behind that. I won't go into detail unless Jay tells me I can do. So Jay, if you watch this, pal, Drop me a comment or send me a message on Facebook and let me know if you want me to reveal details of why you've done what you've done. Um, it's not my place to just take it off my, my back to explain it. But it's... I want to say it's a lovely story, but if you knew what it was, you'd understand. But there's a fantastic sense the family purchased. Uh, purchased the Goonies trucks, the, the Goonies truck. So JP, let me know, and I'll. Uh, I might feature you as a film if you send me a lot of footage and stuff. Um, get in touch, mate. Get in touch. We'll have a chat. So, uh, all I'm going to do now is finish off my break. I've got uh, 29 minutes to go on a four and a half, four and a half, 45. I must say, I apologise about the noise. It can't be very nice for you guys listening to this lot whizzing past. I'm going to clean my windows when my brake's up, because you can't clean your windows on your brake, because it's classed as other work. Um, and then I'll be heading up to Newcastle, so we'll get some footage going up north. After that, as it stands right now, which could change, I'm going in back into Auto Trail in the morning, picking up two for a... Uh, a Fiat dealership in Hull, so it's literally across the water, so we're going across Humber Bridge um, because there's a, a vehicle, there's a Fiat recall on the vehicles, they've got to go in for a recall doing, so the vehicles will go across there and I believe there's two to come back, so I'll drop two in, pick two up and bring them straight back. That's how it stands at the moment, but that's subject to changing it as always, so we'll see how we get on. So I'm going to clean my mirrors later, have some lunch now, what have we got for lunch? Let's have a look. Ooh. I'll, I'll show you what we've got for lunch. Got a nice piece of steak for tea. What we got? Top side? Yeah, top side steak. Woohoo! That's tea. Might be on teppanyaki. I'll try and remember to film it. Depends how long we're out today, and then I'll tie them. But I've got. Let's see how well that is. But Morrison's do these individual kind of portions, and they're absolutely awesome. So obviously I had one yesterday, but it's chicken. It's probably junk chicken, you know what I mean? It's not special. And then I have in here somewhere, 
Oh, there we go. Flatbreads. Is it written on them? Yeah, this Morrison's playing flatbreads. So I have a couple of them with some chicken. Maybe a little bit of salad cream if I've got some sachets left. I might have. And that's lunch and some juice. So I'll leave you for now. Thanks again to every single one of you subscribers, everyone that supports me. Um, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're not already done so. I'll catch you up. I'll get down the road a bit. I might stick the camera back there, viewing out there. Not done that for a while. We'll see how we get on. Speak to you soon, guys. Bye for now. Welcome back guys, uh, where am I? Um, Ferry Bridge. Just got onto the A1 northbound, A1 northbound. I've got uh, 97 miles to go, one hour, 57 minutes. The time now is 12.41. I've plenty of time to get up there. I've got a total of three hours and 23 on my 10 hour driving day. So it'll leave me roughly an hour and a half when I've got tipped to get back down. I'll probably, probably, Go to our yard at Dalton at uh, Thirsk and stop there for the night and get the truck washed. Because she's hanging, absolutely hanging. Hanging means mucky. Absolutely filthy. Uh, boys, steel lads. Um, yeah, um, what do you think of the footage on the last bit of time lapse from the back? Yeah, I don't think I'll do it very often. Um, <laughs> very cobbled together you can probably see the bracket I showed you no oh, no I took the bracket down you can't see the bracket because I took it down <laughs> but I, I showed you it in the um, cab tour uh, in the I met a celebrity video that I did there's a cab tour in there and I showed you the bracket very briefly but it is there another one of ours um, yeah it's not low enough really um, it's pointing too far down you can't see the road ahead which kind of defeats the object so I used every single uh, adjustable mount that I had just to get it lower down for you and it was really really wobbly so I ended up using the, uh, the flexible tripod I've got a little mini tripod use that as like a bungee cord if you like try and stop it from bouncing hopefully it's come out okay and uh, and the footage will be half reasonable it's still not low enough in my opinion hence taking the bracket down I'm going to take it home at the weekend it's a bracket I fabricated I made stuck together and I'm going to make a, an extension for it and uh, have it so it drops down quite considerably lower than it is and that's the plan that's the plan talking about plans Fat Club not spoke about Fat Club for a while because quite frankly not to speak about apart from the fact I'm fat and I haven't bothered doing all about it for several weeks now but um, Ages and ages and ages and ages ago, uh, a, a good pal of mine challenged me to do a bike ride, a bike race. Anyway, it, the, the race isn't coming off now. Well, we're not doing it. Um, but I set up a YouTube channel to uh, to chart my uh, weight loss. This has been way before I started this one, and it's called Fat Man Challenge. So what I was thinking, rather than vlog on here, the weight loss. Um, 
I might just post it on there. I've got to get it back into it. I was doing really well. And I just shot myself in the foot. And undone all the good work. Um, so, yeah, I've got to do that. So, let me know what you think. Should I keep it going on here? Um, for those of you that are new to the channel, um, I was posting... Uh, what, I, what I weighed the week before, what I weighed this week and the difference um, just to give myself a hypothetical, proverbial, that's the word I'm looking for, proverbial kick at the backside to uh, make sure I do it every week and uh, I've let myself down, I've let you guys down by reverting to old habits and uh, eating way too much so I'm pretty pissed off about that, pardon my French Pardon my French, it's not even French, it's English. But anyway, pardon it, sorry. So yeah, I'm really disappointed in myself. <clears throat> so yeah, let me know what you think, whether I should carry on doing it on here, or whether you'd like to see little bits on the other one, on the other channel, I don't, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know what you want me to do. Let me know in the comments. Let me know in the comments. I, I don't know. Don't know, don't know, don't know, don't know, don't know, don't know, don't know. Oops. <clears throat> Interesting fact for you. This bit of road I'm on, I actually helped build. Before I, uh, before I even passed my class two, um, I worked on the roads. I worked in a survey office for a company called RMG. Uh, Roads, Man Roads Management Group, and they built this section of the A1. Um, and I worked, I'd say, in the survey office. I um, I started as what they call a chain lad, which is basically a surveyor's as assistant. Um, you know, when you see surveyors and they're looking through the theodolite or EDM, um, and then there's a, a young lad at the other side holding a stick. Well, I used to hold the stick, and I used to knock in posts, wooden stakes, in the ground using a sledgehammer. Um, we'd walk miles and miles in a day, you know, 15, 20 miles in a day, swinging a sledgehammer. I was fit as chuff. I had proper good shoulders, I had pecs, I had no belly. I, was, I loved it, fit as anything. Four years I did that, or well, three and a half a year. I did that. Well, I worked as a chain lad for about a year, and then I had a fallout with somebody. Without sounding like I'm bragging, but I had a fallout with somebody, and I ended up breaking my hand on his face. So I broke my hand, so I couldn't swing the uh, sledgehammer. That uh, was back when he used to drink, and I was an ass when I had a drink, and I wasn't a very nice person after a few beers. So, yeah, not proud of that period of my time. Uh, time, yeah, you know, period, time for it. Yeah, around that time. I wasn't happy about that. I wasn't proud of myself. But anyway, I ended up breaking my hand. Uh, I broke my hand quite quite badly and very close to having an operation on it. Blah, blah, blah. Couldn't swing a sledgehammer. But I was, and still am, qualified in uh, AutoCAD, which is uh, computer-aided drafting. Um, so the survey manager took me on to uh, do a bit of office work while my hand healed. Um, because the, the surveyor I was working on was uh, a subby, subcontractor. So the, uh, I went into work in the office and I did a, a bit of site work and I learned a lot of stuff and I, yeah, I progressed through, um, through the office in a short time, you know, in a very short period because I am very, very blessed. And I say that again, I'm blessed. I do take it as a blessing that I learn very, very quickly and I, I can retain the knowledge very, very easily. Um, I'm very, very lucky that way. So I ended up going out and doing the, the EDM work, the, uh, the, uh, the theodolite work and the leveling work. I was the one on the computer end and I had my own chain lad um, at the other end. Um, it was good. So yeah, there's a stretch um, from Weatherby all the way back to Darrington, uh, all the way down to Darrington. It takes in um, all the 
home field interchange as it's called which is the m62 a1 junction that new new junction there junction 32a yeah 32a um that was involved in all that in the surveying and setting out for all that and yeah, it was good really good interesting period of my life was that work wise it was a, it wasn't a chore to get up to go to work it was different every day um yeah, it was good uh, interesting fact not many people can actually drive down the road and say I helped build this well I did well not this bit just back there it stopped oh, well we're going to toot on up north uh, I need to stop at Durham services and fill up because I've got 34% fuel I'll top the tank there get me points on my, uh, my Shell Go Plus app pretty cool that if you've not got the app I think I mentioned it before you truck drivers if you've got Shell, gar shell card for your fuel at work make sure you get the Go Plus app because you get but it's not points it's visits and uh, oh pardon me after 10 visits they'll send you um, a voucher, a fuel voucher for so much off um, last time I got a for some reason I got a freebie nine, nine pound voucher and then after my 10th visit I got another nine pound so I had a total of 18 pounds worth of fuel for nothing I'm filling up anyway with the truck so 18 pounds worth of fuel only condition is you've got to put more than 10 pound in at a time and you can only use one voucher so I went and put 20 quid in it cost me 11 pound and then I went to a different station the following day and put another £20 in and paid £11. So I got 40 quid worth of fuel for 22 quid. Bargain. Bargain. That'll do me. <clears throat> so, right, I'll leave you to it. And I'll catch up with you um, as I'm approaching Newcastle area. And I'll take you into the dealership with me. Speak soon, guys. Bye for now. Hello, welcome back. Uh, time now. 2.30. It's dentist time, 2.30. Get it? Get it? 2.30? No, forget it. Sun's very, very bright. I mean, very bright. Two miles to go. It's all 30 miles an hour speed limit, this. All the way down here. It takes forever. Can't get going up the hills when it's heavy. And I may, I may just have, I'm not sure if I have, but I may have Chucking Chris behind me. I'm not sure if it's him or not. It's a Hawthorne's fridge. I don't know if it is or not, I can't see. Mind up. Don't know if it is or not. Don't know. Don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Well, the weather's a bit different than it was this morning. It was all foggy and misty and not very pleasant. And we've got an absolute psycho coming past us in a Beamer, all the way on the Chevrons, wrong side of the barrier. Bless him. Journey's far more important than mine. This dealership we're going to, um, it comes up on his left-hand side, but we're not allowed to park on the road and tip for some reason. I don't know why, but we're not allowed to do it. We have to go past the dealership, hang a right, hang another right. There's a lane just down, just down the back. Got to tip there, driving down the road to into the uh, into the dealership, and walk back for another one, and walk back again. It's great, love it. Call that walking, free exercise. <laughs> not even a lot more than that. Slow down, 33. 
It is beautiful up here though, it's a bit wild, it can be a bit cold up here. Look at that view. I suppose it would be better if the uh, windscreen were clear, wouldn't it? Exhaust brake on. Slow me down. So there's a little lane to your right hand side now. That's where we'll be parking, straight in front of us now. Can you see? Can you see? The dealership's coming up on us left. We've got to go past and then right and right again. Well, that car's coming out, we're going in there. Come on, love. Make my life easier. Just like that. for her low trees, low branches. Last thing I want to do is damage them. I've got this tight turn here. Let's check this into that lane. I'm not going anywhere. There's a car coming, but you can slow down. This is where the rear steer comes in nicely because that's kicked out lovely to go around that corner. So for that side, job done. Spot these trees. Park right on the bend. This is um, one way, so I can park on either side. That Mercedes park there is not helping for that matters, but uh, I can get away with parking right up here like this. Like that, just like that. Woo! So that's me ready to tip. Um, I will disappear, get these tipped. I'm going to film how to do the barrel hitch. I will do that now, so you should get the footage straight after this. So, I will see you once I'm back in a cab. Enjoy the barrel hitch footage. See you soon. Bye for now. Hi guys. Um, well, barrel hitch. Normal, normal strap. Hook one end, fixed. Open end, that end. All I do Hook it in as close to the edge as I can. Obviously, on a flatbed trail, you'd have to hook it underneath on a rope hook, which you're not supposed to use. But if you can get it in a chock rail, even better. All I do then is pull it out, I put a double twist. So it's one, uh, it's a full twist, two, all the way around. Put the loop over the top, take out any twists. I just don't like twists in it. Don't get screwed it. I'll try and get it so it's about 10 to 2, if you know what I mean. If you look at the clock, so I've got one at 10 o'clock, one at 2 o'clock. And then twist it and adjust it so that the knot is in the centre of the wheel. Make sure there's no slack in it as always. Bring it into the ratchet. Again, trying to keep all twists out of it. There's no twists in it whatsoever. Hook it in. Pinch it up. Now I've got these are short straps. They've been they've been damaged at the other end, so I've just chopped them off, heated up the end. I don't know if you can see that. Heated up the end and melted it so it don't fray. All I do with these, rather than trying to roll it and tie them on, is I personally. I put it back through, so it's back on itself, and I'll throw it over a couple of times, like so. And on this end, I lay flat along the strap, 
so it's flat back in towards the ratchet and then when you ratchet it up it feeds back into the ratchet system so when it's bitten when it's got a hold it's tight let's tighten it down you don't need to put a lot of pressure on it the tyre normally on the leading edge will start to deform so a little bit of deform deformation isn't too bad and that's it lock your ratchet in job done it's nice and secure it's nice and tight that'll secure going forwards backwards movement and also side to side movement it's a really really good tight um, really good tight way of doing it I like these so easy to undo pop your ratchet unwrap your strap take it off the hook back feed it out your, out your strap take it off the top take your hook out and everything just falls out all the straps all the uh, twists and that just fall out and roll it up to store it away really is that simple guys it's not it's not difficult just that double twist or a complete 100, uh, 360 degree twist you've got to put in take out any kinks pull it tight get rid of your slack any loose any uh, excess strap you've got a little bit of deformation in the front of the tyre on these tyres you won't really get it on a truck tyre it's too big too much pressure in there but on a car tyre you'll get a deformation in the front like I say you can pop the tyre if, you, if you're not careful you really ratchet it down you can damage the tyre and it will block, will pop but yeah just get it so it moves maybe about a quarter of an inch half an inch like that it's enough that's it Well guys, here we are, we're tipped, it took a while, well, I did do a bit more filming, I've done, uh, I did a little bit of filming for another, um, something else, I'll just leave it at that, you'll, you'll see it soon enough. So, we took the two, I thought I saw a hit with them, but there's nothing around. Um, yeah, we took those two. No dramas, no uh, no issues. You should have nicely seen the uh, the barrel hitch. I call it a barrel hitch. I know other people call it a barrel hitch. I'm sure other people will tell me something different. Put some indicators on. Some flashy stuff on. Let people know I'm pulling out if there's a gap. Well, it's now ten past four, so I'm on twelve and a half hours already. Started at half past three this morning, and I don't have a right lot to do tomorrow. I'm uh, going back down at Grimsby for uh, picking up two motorhomes, obviously, and taking them to Newark. And that's it as far as my jobs on my phone. And they've got me going back into uh, Chesterfield. So as far as I'm aware, that's all I'm doing tomorrow. Um, auto trail to Newark and then run back into the yard to finish for the week or well, weekend. Uh, pretty crap day tomorrow. I've had a good week so far, but it's gonna be a crap day tomorrow. Can only stretch it out so long without taking the proverbial wet stuff. So at the moment I've got Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, oh sorry, duh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday off. There's a possibility I'm working over the weekend, I've volunteered to work over the weekend, so it's, it is a possibility I might be doing something, but it'll be either curtain siders or flatbeds. So there might be something for Instagram and Facebook, but I won't be recording any vlogs or anything on there, so. I don't know, I might do something. Might not. You never know. <laughs> so I'm going to call this vlog short for today or well for this week um, like I said there's not much for you tomorrow I'm just going to head down now to um, 
Washington services, I'm going to stick it in there for now, it's a motor services so I, uh, I shouldn't have to pay because we have an account stick it in there for the night I'm not getting up early in the morning can't see the point I'm gonna have a sleep in so I'll probably start about seven o'clock in the morning go to Durham and get some fuel because I didn't get any on my way up because I didn't know where I was parking tonight so I didn't want a full fuel fuel tank I'll be stuck in a lay-by somewhere so chuck it in Washington services I've got 25 percent so I've got a quarter of a tank I'm going to uh, Durham up way down tomorrow morning to Auto Trail. It's a three hour drive. So if I do I'll probably six o'clock start. I'll be up at five. I'll be up earlier than six. I won't sleep until six. So three hours down to uh, Auto Trail, load an hour and a half back to Yard or back to Newark. So six o'clock down there for nine or five o'clock down there for eight load by half past half past eight I should be in Newark by oh well because I need a break so I say nine, ten o'clock for travelling eleven o'clock with a break well it's not going to be that short a day to be fair, it's not it's not going to be that short a day it's about an hour and twenty from Newark to uh, to Chesterfield so it's going to be mid-afternoon by the time I get done if I start at five. That's not too bad. I might even start earlier then. Don't know. Well, don't know. See what time I get to bed tonight. I've got some steak for tea, as I showed you earlier. I'll have some steak and some rice. Rice! <coughs> and I think that's it then, guys. And ladies, and gents, and boys, girls, and all those that are confused. So, as always, if you've enjoyed what you've seen and you want to see more of my fat face, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell and you'll get notified when I upload. I upload on a Sunday morning at 10 o'clock. Actually, that's technically a lie because I upload before, I just schedule it to go live at 10 o'clock on a Sunday morning. So, yeah, you'll get a new video at 10 o'clock most weeks on a Sunday morning make sure you leave a comment let me know what you think about the uh, the weight loss and that whether I should stay on this or um, do it on the fat man challenge page that I've got uh, leave me a comment let me know what you think of the, uh, the vlog all interaction is a good interaction if you don't like it give me a thumbs down if you don't like it tell me why you don't like it and I'll try and improve see what difference I can make I know I ain't going to please everybody all of the time I'm happy if I please some of you some of the time. So thanks for riding along with me, ladies and gents. And I will catch you next week. Bye for now.